One day your baskets or your planters filled with petunias look great and the next day they look like absolute death. Have you ever had this happen to you? Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings and today we're going to talk about budworm and what it can do to your hanging baskets as well as solutions for curing your baskets to bringing them back to beauty after they've been affected by the budworm. Let's take a closer look. We left for Labor Day weekend and both of our hanging baskets look gorgeous full of flowers, full of nice green leaves, and just really something to be proud of. But when we returned, one looked well, and the other one looked very sick. My first thought was, Cal, did it dry out when we were gone? Was it windy? You know, what, what happened to them? But upon closer inspection, I figured out that we had been attacked by budworm. The first indicator was very obvious, and we're gonna take a look here on the ground. That is all caterpillar poop. And we're not just talking little pieces, we're talking giant pieces of poop. So we know there are some pretty healthy caterpillars that are hanging out in these baskets. Now these are the budworm type of caterpillars. These are not ones that you wanna have, certainly not like the monarch caterpillars, which we welcome in our gardens. These are the budworm caterpillars and they have got to go. So what should we be doing? Now I am going to tell you a little disclaimer here. It is after Labor Day. We are in Michigan. So our hanging baskets are going to soon be done for the season. So we're not going to spend the time and effort in trying to uh, bring them back at this point in the season. Although if it were earlier, we would be game on combating these things. But I want to show you what you can do if it's earlier in the season and or your season just lasts further into the fall. But first of all, let's just take a closer look at what the plants look like so you can see if this looks like what you've got going on in your garden. So the flowers are all very much gone. The leaves have been chewed back. You can see there's a lot of stems going on there, as well as just a lot of browning of the foliage. So these plants have really been devoured and devoured heavily. Uh, the one on the top is even worse for the wear. So I think they probably started at the top and have been working their way down. Um, as this bottom basket here still has a little bit of color and a little bit of life left in it, but certainly it still is not looking very good. So what we recommend is if you have budworms, and we're gonna pop a picture up on the screen so you know what it is that you're looking for. I tried to dig in these baskets, but by dig I mean surface looked because I wasn't gonna go digging and finding these worms. Um, so we'll put, a, we'll put a picture on the screen so you know what you're looking for. But what you would need to do is, if you have budworms, is buy a product called BT. So this works on killing off those budworms. Basically, you would spray your petunias, the basket, the planter, or even if they're in the ground, spray them once a week until you feel like you've got control um, over those worms and have a good kill going on. Once you feel like you have a good kill, then what we recommend doing is trimming back the plant just giving it a nice haircut kind of removing some of the ugly you know remnants that are there and fertilizing it twice a week so by fertilizing it twice twice a week you're going to give the plant the food and energy that it needs to really have a good start to put on some new life put on some new growth and have some beauty again so once a week application here of the bt one of the girls here at work she had this issue earlier this summer she said it took her two applications and it killed off all of the budworms in her uh, planter that she was treating. She gave it two doses of fertilizer twice a week and within about two weeks she said she was starting to see new growth and new blooms and just revitalization of her planter. So hopefully this is not a problem for you. Hopefully you never have to um, reference this video, but if you do, we hope to show you what it looks like so you know what you're dealing with and a good product that you can use to help combat those critters. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.